Hi there, and welcome to today's Products in Focus. As you'll be able to see there by the markets, we actually had uh, quite a big, it's very been volatile the last couple of sessions, incidentally, so this has been quite a lot of volatility right there. We actually were down at one point yesterday, we gapped uh, lower on the open to finish up, uh, almost, almost a uh, bullish engulfing pattern, but not quite. And we've stopped dead in the tracks at that potential resistance at 16,178, which is also the 55 period SMA on the US 30. If we have a look down at the UK 100, Similar idea, almost uh, bullish engulfing, but not quite. Stop dead in the tracks at the next potential resistance. You'll see this across most of the markets, 65.81, and also bouncing off that 21 period SMA. Japan 225 has uh, had an interesting kind of uh, kind of roller coaster over the last couple of sessions, and uh, what's quite interesting here is that we're quite close to potential uh, resistance again at 14.219, and um, following on from that, you know, this is going to be very heavily done. Uh, by uh, by dollar yen, where's the yen going? Um, people have been buying a lot of gold during this Ukraine crisis. Normally, they'd be buying a lot of yen as well, but they've been also been buying a dollar. So it's been quite an interesting uh, conundrum in regards to uh, what products are are really in focus at this stage. But Japan 25 been under pressure for so long now, and it really needs to get above 14219 if it's going to have any sort of uh, kind of resurgence. And we're still in this potential down downtrend right now as well. So. Following on from that, if we actually have a look at good old dollar yen, um, you'll see what I'm talking about. We're currently trading below potential resistance at 101 spot 80. These candle formations you're seeing here over the last four or five sessions are indicative of the downward selling pressure. Each time it ticks up, it gets pushed right back down again. Um, and uh, I guess that's testament to the, to the fact there is that this little bit of yen buying, even though there's lots of um, uh, USD buying as well. I've actually been looking at a lot of the charts and for day, there's been some quite um, quite interesting movements um, overnight on some of the other FX pairs which we'll come back to in a little second as well. Okay so let's jump on to West Texas crude and um, long lay candles again beautiful support potential uh, sorry beautiful potential resistance right here at 105 uh, two, jo two doji formations right now uh, we're actually negative for the day next potential support uh, and you can actually see where this is drawn from, or from the tip of that that, that candle right there uh, at 103. Okay, so that's the strategic levels for um, for crude. Looking at gold, it had uh, that's a bearish engulfing pattern there today. Um, so it pretty much hit that resistance we've been talking about, potential resistance at 1332, uh, and we're selling off quite aggressively in gold this morning actually. Um, that's quite a negative candle right there, and we're just touching that 55 period SMA. A firmly bearish engulfing pattern. It's not closed yet, incidentally, so um, there could still be lots of volatility through the session. I'm guessing that it uh, could be a lot of dollar strength out there, uh, unless there'll be a big turnaround in the Ukrainian situation um, while I've come into work. So, as you see there, actually, dollar strength has come back in. Euro dollar getting pushed down, uh, and we're now touching that 21 period SMA. Um, we gapped down yesterday, down again today. Next potential. Support is at 37.72, and if we fast forward then on to GBP USD, yeah, it is a, it is a USD uh, strength story that's impacting gold. There you can see it's, it's pushing sterling back down as well. Uh, we're trading below potential. Uh, this is actually resistance now, incidentally, 67.44. We're miles away actually from the next potential support and even the SMAs. So there's a little bit of room for this to to maneuver if we are seeing uh, a surge in USD strength. Um, throughout today's session. That's obviously the back of really strong retail sales um, in the US yesterday. Uh, I think that came out uh, much higher than expected. 0.4 was the forecast, 0.7. You had the city bank earnings as well, which blew away expectations, giving a bit of a lift to, to some products as well. So today is a whole raft of UK data. You've got CPI and RPI in the, uh, in the UK, uh, which will impact uh, cable and the UK 100. You've got the ZEW business report, which is Euro dollar and Germany 30 specific. Those are going to be quite good ones to look at. And then you've got US CPI data as well at 130, which will be will, will be widely looked at. And if we go into Thursday and Wednesday, sorry, we do have Chinese data, which is dragging markets lower this morning, arguably. They're quite soft right now in regards to um, their economic progress. Um, they're still moving in the right direction, but just by not by not enough. Um, so that data will be important, but that's 3 a.m. UK time. And then you've got uh, more UK data. You've got jobless claims, unemployment from the UK. Um, you've got Eurozone CPI. Uh, actually, quite a lot of data that's due, that's due out tomorrow. 
and you've got the usual it's crude oil Wednesdays for those guys who are looking at West Texas crude and Brent at 3.30 you've got the uh, the petroleum inventories as well so keep an eye on the chart forum for updates from our global analyst team and from other CMT clients and make sure you make insights part of your layout going forward so you can stay informed of the news that's moving the markets today uh, directly from uh, our analyst team and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened